Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, JDK on your Ubuntu machine. So, first, what we need to do is download the JDK version that you want to install, either 1.6, 1.7, or 1.8 uh, from your Oracle website. So, go to oracle.com, downloads. So, here I'll show how to install the latest version. So I'll download JDK 8. So here I am downloading the tarball. So this may take time depending on your network. So, I think it's fast enough. So, let's wait for that to complete. Meanwhile, open your terminal. We have two downloads. almost done yes it's complete so now we have the tarball so what we need to do is we need to unzip that so for that we need to give this command tar exit vf jdk give a tab and enter So let's see, okay, let's clear the screen. So here we have the folder extracted. So now we need to move this to folder user lib. So that's under user lib. In here you have folder Java. So if you don't have we need to create the folder java so i'm going to do that so let's go to user lib let's see if we have java in there so we don't have java so to create a folder here you need to be sudo so your root user so just type the command sudo mkdir java uh, give your password so now let's see okay now i have the java folder so what we need to do, we need to move the download extracted JDK folder into this location. So I'll just go to downloads. Say okay. So I'll just type move JDK and I'll move this to user lib Java. Okay. So it says permissions denied. So you need to be sudo to move the file to that folder so okay so now I have done that so let's go and check if it's moved successfully yes it's moved so let's go and see if we have all the yeah we have the java c java compiler the profiler and all the required things so now what we need to do is we need to enter the alternate paths for the installed java so i'll just show you some links which go to this tutorial here p.web.umk.upv6xe.tutorials.html and you can see these scripts so here i have configured for jdk 1.7 so i need to change it to jdk 1.8 the package that we just download so it's 1.8.0 underscore 11 yes so I have done that now we run the same thing for Java compiler as well 
dot zero underscore eleven. Yes. And one more. Eight dot zero underscore eleven. Yes. Now we are good to go. Now the only change that is remaining is changing or updating your bash rc file. So for that you need to open your bash rc file. So do I'll open with the text editor bash rc. Oh, sorry. Uh oh. Okay. So now in here you need to enter the Java path so that every time you start the path is updated. So for that I'll just take the reference from here. So here you need to create two variables for Java a variable for Java home and you need to change your Java version dot zero underscore eleven and save it. Close it. That's all. Now just close your terminal and open a new one. So now everything should be set. Let's type java yes so your java is installed so let's check the java version yes so the java version on this machine is 1.8.0 the latest one so you also check the java home variable so this is used if you this is used if you want to set hadoop or any other uh, software to be installed you need this variable it's very handy so that's how you configure J Java JDK on your Ubuntu machine. Hope this helps. Thanks.